Hello and welcome to another Magic 2015 gameplay. Today we're taking a look at a blue-white control deck with some neat combo elements. And let's start out by taking a look at the deck list here. Cloud Shift is the card that holds the deck together. It protects your key creatures and also enables your combo, which I will show later. Wall of Omens is just a very good card in a control type deck and also synergizes very well with Cloud Shift. Reprisal is one of the few removal spells we have access to since we are blue and white and Reprisal is actually pretty decent. The only important cards it doesn't deal with are Storm Breath Dragon with protection from white and uh, Brimas which has only 3 power but uh, still can do a lot of damage. Baneslayer Angel is hard justifying not playing Baneslayer and we won't, we will simply play it and be very happy when we draw it. It's an excellent finisher, can swing a race in your favor and uh, I think I've already talked enough about her. Planar Cleansing is our sweeper of choice, it's our only sweeper actually so it's pretty important to draw it and uh, Resolute Archangel is another cool finisher that can also get you back from a low life total. Then Quicken is a neat card that simply draws us a card which might seem a little silly but uh, the only sorcery it really synergizes with is Planar Cleansing and actually having a instant speed sweeper thanks to Quicken plus Planar Cleansing is pretty powerful. But uh, the reason we're playing Quicken is simply because we want to have a high instant and sorcery counts and the cheaper those instants and sorceries are the better and uh, if we draw a card anyways then it's not like we're losing card advantage and in this deck the cost of using one blue mana is pretty low so it actually fits the deck nicely. Vapor Snag and other reactive cards against uh, big creatures and also allows us to counter the creatures on the way down again and uh, well, you can also use it to save your own creatures from removal should you need to do that. Then Think Twice, I uh, already expressed my love for the card and this is the perfect deck for it. We want to have a lot of instants, the flashback means we get two instants and we also play a bunch of counter spells which make Think Twice an instant speed draw card even better. Negate is just a good counter against the more powerful cards in the format like Planar Cleansing and Anger of the Gods. Dissolve is just an all-around good counter spell. For 3 mana you also get to scry for one. And then Torrent Sky Summoner is one of our two main finishers I would say and synergizes very well with all our instants and sorceries. You can use the uh, Cloud Shift to save him and also make a Drake token in the meantime. And uh, yeah, it's just very good in this deck. Usually you want to play him later in the game, not on turn 4, so you can have a spell up to protect him from removal, at least one removal spell. So uh, don't always just run him out on turn 4, because uh, if the opponent has a shock in hand, you're going to feel pretty silly if you also have a negate or a cloud shift in hand. So uh, just be aware of that. Then Archaeomancer is the second card that enables our combo with cloud shift because when you play Archaeomancer you can return Cloud Shift to your hand then if you ever play Cloud Shift on the Archaeomancer you can get back the Cloud Shift that you just cast with the Archaeomancer which means you can keep playing Cloud Shift over and over until you run out of white mana now this doesn't do anything obviously so you need a way to take advantage of casting all those spells and in comes Sphinx Bone Wand Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery, which Cloud Shift is, you can put a char charge counter on the Sphinx Bone Wand and you get to deal damage equal to the number of counters. So uh, this, whenever this hits the table, if you have Archaeomancer and Cloud Shift in hand or in the graveyard, it's going to be over pretty quickly. So uh, you want to make sure that the Sphinx Bone Wand resolves and that it will... Uh, result in the opponent dying as quickly as possible which should not really be a problem so yeah here's the deck we're playing a lot of lands since we are a control deck and we don't want to miss any land drops we're playing 27 lands and we have access to the four guild gates 
and also five dual lands, well, tri tricolor lands that produce uh, blue and white. Uh, I didn't go with the full amount just because we don't want to have infinite tap lands in our deck. Uh, but yeah, I think the color fixing is necessary if you take a look at uh, planar cleansing with triple white and cards like Dissolve and Torrent and Archaeomancer with double blue. So yeah, that's the deck. Now let's jump into a game. All right, so let's take a look at our opener here, which seems a little too land heavy. What do you think? Okay, this is a lot better. We have two parts of the combo here and uh, a good amount of lands. We can probably pull the trigger on the Squicken early on and then get it back with your Kaomancer. Well, that's also pretty good. Another one. Alright, so uh, we've got our defenses set up here. Cloud Shift works well with Wall of Omens and Archaeomancer with the combo. If we draw the Sphinx Bone Wand and our opponent responds with his own Wall of Omens. Alright, so uh, we've got the entire combo now. The problem is going to be resolving it and then having enough lands to cast it in the first place. So we'll pass a turn with a quicken end of turn. And we could also cast a cloud shift to draw a card if we're risking to uh, not have our land drop for the turn. Another wall of omens. That's not gonna bother us. And let's cast our Quicken. Uh, Alright. So now we have Dissolve up. Let's see, at 4 mana, our opponent could cast a Talrand, which I don't really like. So I think for now we can uh, end of turn Cloud Shift if our opponent doesn't play anything to draw a card with the wall. And then next turn, maybe Archaeomancer back the Cloud Shift. But uh, I would like to have our Dissolve up in case it does deploy the Torrent here. Which does seem unlikely, but uh, you never know. Let's try and draw a card. Alright. That's good. We're hitting all our land drops. And I think we can sit on our counter spell. Yeah. I won't counter a thing twice. Raise the alarm is fine. We can stop it with Archaeomancer. I guess we'll take one. We need to draw one more land in order to have seven. There we go. So, uh, yeah, I guess we can... Hmm. Can't quite cast our Kaomancer and keep up the solve. Hmm. I guess we'll play the Archaeomancer maybe entice our opponent into tapping out for next turn so we can resolve our bone wand let's see what happens nullify all right that's fine Opponent at 6 mana. 
we have to be very aware of planar cleansing. And there's the Tarand we were afraid of. But if we do resolve the Bone Wand, then we can kill the Tarand. So then our opponent's forced to use planar cleansing. So I guess our play of tapping out ourselves actually worked in our favor here. Of course, if the opponent has his own Sphinx Bone Wand, then uh, I guess we're back at square one. So we technically do have the combo, but our opponent could easily disrupt it with a counterspell. So we want to make sure to resolve this Archaeomancer to ba get back the Cloud Shift. Let's block Tarrant. Take two. Now we do have Archaeomancer plus Dissolve Up. Our opponent only two blue sources, which means he's unlikely to play more than one counter. Baneslayer Angel is pretty annoying. But there's a reprisal. I guess it's important enough to kill the Angel here um, that I won't run out the Archaeomancer yet. Um, on the other hand, let's see, if we play the Archaeomancer, get back Cloud Shift, we can Cloud Shift uh, three times, which means we can kill the Tarrant, and then if our opponent wants to disrupt our combo, is forced to Planar Cleansing and kills his own Angel. So I think that's actually better. Alright, do this. And I think I do want to kill the Tarrant here before he gets out of control. Uh, we could also keep up the Solve to counter Planar Cleansing, which I actually don't hate. It means we take one turn of Abuse, but then we are pretty set with the Cloud Shift combo. So actually, let's just be safe. Means we'll take. Uh, possibly a lot of damage from Tarrant and uh, Baneslayer Angel. But I think we'll end up uh, on top. Palisade Giant. Well, that's not gonna happen. And let's deal one to a creature. Palisade Giant is... Uh, let's keep that. It's too, too much of a problem because it means our combo is going to be too slow to take down his creatures and then the angel is just going to kill us together with those Drake tokens. So we can reprisal the Angel now. And we are gonna have another counter spell for Planar Cleansing. And we have Cloud Shift Online, so I think we're in a good spot here. So let's start by reprisaling the Angel. Killing Talrand. Does he have a Cloud Shift? He does. Um, so, that's annoying. If I dissolve it, then the angel lives, but we can cloud shift a bunch of times. But he's gonna get a drake token too. Hmm, yeah, I think we have to dissolve this as much as it pains me. And then we can kill that one as well. So we are open to planar cleansing, but our opponent only has one card in hand. So it doesn't seem super likely. And our opponent left, so I think he doesn't have it. 
All right, so uh, I guess we'll pass the turn. We can kill the Drake token at any point here. And then start dealing damage to the opponent. If our opponent one turn doesn't have a sweeper, then I think we win. Alright, actually let's do the math here. So that's four, five, nine, six, fifteen, seven, twenty-two. So yeah, we can actually kill the token and kill the opponent as well. So let's do that. Voyage's end. That's gonna set us back a little bit, I guess. So we have to Archaeomancer again. Get back Cloud Shift. And then let's hit the opponent. Um, I guess we should have kept Cloud Shift in case we wanted to get back our uh, Dissolve at instant speed. But now it's too late for that. But yeah, so if we Cloud Shift or our Archaeomancer at instant speed, we can get back our Dissolve and actually counter a Sweeper. So that was a small mistake there. And I don't think it's gonna cost us. This is not really a problem. Alright, let's Cloud Shift. Deal damage to the opponent. Get back the Cloud Shift. And then cast it again. Alright. No more white mana. But now we can just finish off the opponent. And there we go. So I want to thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And as always, have a nice day.